What is click fraud? Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining what click fraud exactly is, how to detect it within your Google Ads account, and also how to try and prevent it from occurring in the future. So, firstly, what is click fraud? Well, click fraud occurs when an ad is clicked, but there's no intention to purchase the product or service being offered by that um, ad, being offered by that business. And instead, the ad is being clicked purely to waste the advertising budget of that business. Because every time an ad gets clicked, that costs money to that business because they're paying per click. It's cost per click marketing, pay per click marketing. Um, so in order to show that, um, I thought I'd use this useful animation that's from a click fraud related website. And what we can see here is that there are two types of main culprits uh, for click fraud. So you've got competitors who are shown as being this wolf here in the animation and competitors will be clicking on uh, potentially uh, your ads, your comp competitors might be clicking on your ads um, just in order to waste your budget. And what we've got also here is uh, a robot and that's because these competitors will sometimes use very sophisticated means in order to achieve this. They'll set up robots that will automatically make searches and then click on ads. Uh, they can also use groups of people in what are called click farms. And these groups of people, their sole job, their sole aim is to make searches for particular keywords and then click on the competitor ads to waste their budget. Um, so that's what click fraud is. Uh, and the next thing we're going to look at is how to detect click fraud. Now, when it comes to detecting and preventing click fraud, the great thing about Google Ads is that both of those things are done to a great extent automatically. So if we look at the metrics for this campaign as an example, we can see here that there are columns on the right hand side for invalid clicks and invalid click rate. So what we can see here is that within this given period, um, there have been 2,696 valid clicks. So these are clicks that this account has paid for. Um, however, there are also 402 invalid clicks. And of the total number of clicks, this equates to 13%. So 13% of all clicks on the ads. And it's important to note that these clicks have not been paid for. And this uh, number of clicks is not included within this figure. It's a separate figure. Um, so Google automatically removes, so automatically detects when uh, based on uh, a user's behavior when that user is deemed to be uh, carrying out malicious activity or what is deemed to potentially be click fraud and those clicks are not billed for or they're refunded for and those clicks are removed from the data. Um, so we're not optimizing based on any invalid clicks and crucially we're not paying for invalid clicks. And this is actually, this campaign's actually in quite a competitive sector where click fraud is quite rampant. And we can see that um, there's quite a high percentage of the total clicks are click fraud. 13% is quite a high figure. But crucially, those are, those clicks are being removed. Now, in cases where you believe there is still some additional click fraud occurring uh, outside of um, the um, invalid clicks that are being removed, so you think there's some additional invalid activity that's not potentially being picked up by Google, then you can use third party services to analyze the data, analyze the traffic and give you information on um, other 
potential visitors that may be fraudulent. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail on um, the different service providers that are available. Um, this is not a promotional video pr uh, to promote a particular click fraud um, preventative services, um, but you can do your research, find a service that works for you and um, when you're using one of these services, what they'll supply you with once they've determined um, which uh, users are potentially clicking on your ads, um, once they've uh, determined who those people are, they'll give you IP addresses to help block those particular users and that can help to reduce the amount of click fraud. Um, so that's the method for blocking those uh, for blocking those additional users, um, and you can do that within your campaign. Firstly, by selecting the campaign, then on the left hand side, selecting settings, and then you're going to cl click on additional settings, and then you're going to click IP exclusions. And you can see here there are already some IPs that have been excluded within this campaign. So what you'll do is um, get those IP addresses that have been supplied to you by uh, the third party service you're using. You'll collect those IP addresses and you'll paste them in this section. Now it's important to note that you can only block 500 IP addresses per campaign at a time. So you're limited to how many you can block. So it's important to add in the most important IP addresses first within this uh, section to make sure you're blocking those because you can't unfortunately block unlimited addresses. Uh, and that can this all of these things that are done here help to improve the profitability of your campaigns, reduce the amount of budget that's being wasted and um, help you meet your objectives, your marketing objectives. Um, so hopefully this video has given you uh, some insight into what click fraud is, how it's prevented automatically, and what things you can do in addition, if required, to further prevent any click fraud. So if you found this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe, and um, thank you for watching.